The AGA has developed some care pathways that I would refer you to, and in those care pathways, they define disease risk in both ulcerative colitis and in Crohn's disease. And I would encourage you to start doing so routinely in your practice. What this means is assessing not only the patient's activity of disease or how sick they are as they sit in front of you, but also understanding what their prognosis may be. So for example, the prognosis towards needing a colectomy due to medically resistant or refractory disease in ulcerative colitis is considered higher for patients with extensive disease, earlier age of diagnosis, elevated inflammatory markers, and importantly, endoscopically severe disease. In Crohn's disease, it's similar, and you may be more familiar with the disease risk assessment in Crohn's disease. But I want you to start thinking carefully about the prognosis of that individual patient sitting in front of you so that you can choose some of our more effective and proven therapies earlier in their disease management strategies.